Club Cat 7 here. It is Saturday, May 5th, 2018, and I'm at Mallory. I'm in an adjacent part of Mallory over here, and I'm standing right in front of the mound that I show in my second video on Mallory from a couple of years ago, where I show you some boulders on top that have stones placed on them. And we're gonna go back up there and look at it, but I just want you to look that this mound area or hill area or whatever it is could be artificial i don't know but let's say for example that it isn't it certainly is in line with the people who inhabited this area to incorporate their living space in their special places you know along with the topography of the land here and the different um natural things going on here so you know it would be hardly surprising for them to be utilizing this hill or whatever if it was here already but certainly it could have been created so anyway we're gonna run up there and look at that again and then we're gonna run down by the white stone area with the clam rock what I had called the clam rock in front of uh, that area there um, and we're gonna we're gonna look at that and we're gonna we're gonna call it for what it is all right so just take a little walk with me up here we're gonna go up on the mound and then we're gonna go elsewhere over here for a few minutes, okay? So I'm just gonna disconnect the camera here and we're gonna take a run up this hill. Now this hill, again, like I said, has a short face. And we're going up that short face to here, okay? And when we get up here, um, we can see stones on the ground here. This actually looks like, you know, some uh, a circle of stones maybe up here it could be but you can see all of these boulders have rocks on them small rocks a couple large ones this guy here obviously is big but you find this anywhere throughout here and it doesn't make a lot of sense if you go to the other part of mallory there isn't a boulder that has this on it anywhere over there and elsewhere everywhere around here but here in mallory this the jason part there's literally, you know, stones on almost any single boulder you can find around here. Even some little tiny ones in the middle of nowhere. So, in any case, you can see there's lots of little rocks on here on top of this boulder. Okay? And we got another one over here. Right? If you remember from my first video, this is what I look at. See? Alright? You know, I don't see where colonists and settlers are doing these kind of things. I'm sorry. I hate to disappoint the people who love the mainstream academics, but this site here at Mallory has nothing to do with settlers or colonists. Sorry. Okay, here's another guy. Bigger guy. And as you can see, lots of stones on here, big guys or whatever. Okay? And after talking with Jimmy the Paleo Mountain Man about it, you know, he wanted to sort of say that, you know, what it could have been is, you know, these people here, you know, part of their, you know, spiritual practices, you know, their rituals, etc. Well, one of those things was as you pass these stones, you know, to leave something here. Or, you know, maybe certain people in the community, you know, needed to do this for their spiritual practices, or it's just a representation of something of their culture, which, you know, again, it seems that all these cultures with stones, standing stones, stone walls here and in Europe and everything, they, they worship stones. So, you know, again, this hardly surprising. Okay, so we're gonna come off the back of this mound hill area. And here's the face of it, the front of it. Right, back sort of slopes more gradually, like all of these over here could be natural. There's another one up there, a little bit further away. And again, this is what I show in my second video over here. And I said this was an opening, but I think this is artificial. Somebody brought those stones around the tree and it, this was all broken down and then actually they tried to do a build out they were neat about it okay now here again we're back at this place 
where there's just this big pile of stones right here okay and I mean it could have been a, a clearing pile could have been a dummy pile again doesn't really fit in with what's going on around here you see some more boulders there build up here smaller stones and there's my depression that little dell that I was talking about or whatever at that time of the year in the late spring I mean uh, late summer early fall this is all dry in here you don't see any water so here's another one of these little ponds that have nothing feeding it eventually it'll all dry up in the summer and now I'm gonna head real quick over to the clam rock and there's my big white stone over there and it's funny while there is no foliage here or scarce foliage you can see these white rocks over large distances and it just sticks out like a sore thumb when you're looking over the landscape so here's my big piece my big boulder of white here the white rock which there's hardly any around this area this is a big beautiful one and it just happens to come off this mound area back here where we find the whale effigies that I show in my second video from a couple years back okay heading over to the clam rock and I'm gonna revise that I didn't really know what it was when I first came here and I called it as a little chip monkey living in there hey buddy I brought some peanuts for you um, I said it was a clam rock because it looked like a clam rock or whatever but now that I see and really take into account discuss with other people other researchers Jimmy you know another representation of a whale it seems pretty clear that the overall site has this whale theme and again I said it seems highly surprising since the Native American cultures of the coastal areas of the Northeast were whale deity worshipers it seems highly surprising so I think that's another representation of a whale again and then you know there's all the little fish in his mouth that's all the fish that he's eaten and all those little fish could be representations of people in this culture and again Jimmy said you know maybe one of the rituals here was as you pass by this stone here you left the rock here you know to uh, to venerate the place so in any case guys I just wanted to give you a little taste back of the mound that I started out over here back to the clam rock over here which is really a whale it's not a clam but um that's what the whole theme is and behind here in that white rock area up there there are more whale effigies again from my second video but we're going to take a little bit better look at that okay guys i just wanted to get this out of the way i hope you enjoyed it i love looking at this guy here it's just so cool all right all right guys bud cat signing out i'm moving to the next area and i hope you'll join me signing out bye now